Hello, in this video we will show you how to configure uh, OpenAI version 4.1.9 with uh, Angular of DC framework, which is provided here on the screen. So, first of all, we should download it from the Git and put the proxy called JSON. It is required because it doesn't allow cross origin references and you need to proxify OpenM URLs through your Angular application. Also, in the package JSON, please add following uh, configuration to the uh, start script to help us to start with OpenM and using SSL. To start uh, the Angular application, run mtm starts in the command line and wait while your application will be compiled and deployed. Please use uh, URL localhost 92.0 to reach our application from the web browser. Navigate there. And this is that our application up and running. Navigate to the web counter. And we will see the OpenM login page. And now we will be able to start configuration of OpenM part. After success login, you will see content provider configuration page. This happens because you are logging first time to the given host name. Please fill this page like shown here in this video. If you need more information about content provider configuration, you can check it in the OpenAIM official documentation website. The URL is presented on the screen. Please fill the server URL for the translation to be UI 880 for PM local host 880. Click Save and wait while the provider will be created. Also, after it will be done, please wait near five minutes for cache the changes. After you will be able to use OpenAIM application. Let's start to configure our OIDC client. We need to go to the authentication provider and click create new provider in the left menu. On the page in the selector, please select OAuth client and it will ask you about several fields to be filled. First is the name. It's up to you to come up with a new name. Nothing special is required for this. Description also, category for create request. Uh, to fill a redirect URL properly, we need to refer Angular OIDC framework documentation page. So first one will be local host 4200, and next one will be slash index.html, like documentation suggests us. And the last one for silence token update will be slash silent refresh.html. After each piece, press enter, select tokens as a signing algorithm, select one of the asymmetrical, so we will be able to use public key to validate GWT token signature as a authentication grant card. Please use implicit type and will send authentication information in the request body. After two required scopes. In OpenM, there is two types of scopes. One of them is the proper information like name, given name, email address, and another scopes. You also can create your own scopes using a group script. And second type of scopes in OpenM are URLs. So every URL pattern, which is linked to host name using content provider, 
it can be a scope that your application may ask to authorize to share with an example of that. Complete filling uh, scopes, for example, write a video that you are free with the role. Set second time, version time, and click save. Optionally, you can protect your application by 2FA. Please refer on documentation about OTP configuration. After authentication provider successfully saved, value for client ID and client secret will be automatically generated. Also, system propose your OpenIM discovery URL that will be used by our Angular application to retrieve all required configuration and public key to ensure ODC flow. Please fill configuration on Angular site is provided from discovery URL information. We will need and initial uh, client ID. And one more option, which allow us to skip validation of uh, URLs in OpenID configuration. It happens because OpenAM doesn't follow the rules that all URLs in OpenID should start from the issuer name. Let's navigate now to the web browser and try to log in with the MCC flow. We also open debug console to see how it's processing. So it's loading first time. And we see the request open and the first login system from task to accept Selected scopes, we click allow, and now we can see that our Angular application received ID token and access token successfully. Thank you for your attention.